Hey everyone, it's Felicia and I'm back with another makeup tutorial. So I started off by cleaning my face using Cetaphil's Sensitive Daily Cleansing Wipes and I love these so much. Okay. Next I'm going in with my eyebrow pencil. It is an NK Makeup um, Eye Pencil in Dark Brown. And I'm just outlining my brows to know they are not done. But we're going to do the best, <laughs> it's, yeah, because it's us, it's me and you now, so we're going to do the best we can to um, outline them. And of course, after you outline, now it's time to fill them in. I don't really want them to be too dark and look too pasty. I do want to give them sort of like a natural look. Um, usually I would go in with like a brow pomade, but I think this might be good enough for me today. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. But on this day and any other day, I'm going to do my best to make them look like twins. Alright, now I'm going in with Fenty Beauty's True Matte Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. I actually really like this primer. It's really moisturizing. going in now with my ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark 170N. I'm going back in to fill in those brows. Give them the best, best look possible. All right, and now I'm gonna clean up the top arch of the brow. And don't mind the um, concealer on my sleeve. Look how clean. Well, it's almost clean. Let me be quiet. <laughs> there we go. That's better. All right, now it's time to fully blend this out. Conceal. Don't feel. Gotta blend them out. Cause if you don't, you'll make me wanna shout. For today's eye makeup look, I used Morphe's Live With Love palette. So the first shade that I used today was Unify. And that's like a brown. And then I went in with Seek Change. And here's where things started to get a little interesting. Cause I really was just going with the flow at this point. I'm just like, okay, I want to maybe try pink. And honestly, I should have put on like a, you know, like an eye primer, but I did not. So. I called myself at this point trying to do like a hot pink sort of look. So maybe it was just going to be like shades of pink. I don't know. But I went in in my outer corner with Be Heard from the Live With Love Morphe palette. And now I'm going to try to replicate the same exact thing on my left eye. Then at this point it started to become a competition of who can be the brightest because I didn't put primer on like I said before. It was just kind of doing what it wanted to do and I was like no, mm -mm, I need you to do this. But I should have, I, you know, I should have put on primer and, and, and that would have helped a lot. One, it would have made the colors more bold and two, I would not have had to use um, so much 
fight that out. <laughs> Morphe is very well pigmented, like all of their shades, every last palette, it's very pigmented. But I did use a lot of eyeshadow trying to pack it all in there. So my lesson was learned. Started to go a little crazy with the hot pink on, um, you know, the hood of my eyelid and the crease of my eyelid. Um, and after that, I was like, okay, let's blend this out. Let's see what we're working with so we know how to move forward. And I decided, you know what? Some glitter would probably make this all of this messiness go away and some glitter will probably bring it together because I don't know about you but I know most glitter looks are probably intentional however at least four to five times out of ten um I it was an accident and I just it was the only thing that would pull the whole look together <laughs> but in this case we're riding the wave cleaning it up and getting started on my face Decided to go back in with some more Fenty primer and now we're doing eyeliner so um, to know me is to love me and to know me is to know that I'm always gonna mess up the first um, the first part of my eyeliner and then the second eye is gonna be great or vice versa the first one might be great but the second one is gonna be crap I definitely need more practice with that definitely need more practice with that I also have to practice completely doing a really clean look and doing the concealer all the way under the wing of my eyeliner but it's okay I'm going in with that same um, ColourPop concealer in a dark 170 M I'm also using LA Pro Girl in the color toffee and now it's time to blend blendy 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 Now this this little situation here, this this one gets a little messy because I did actually put a lot. But bear with me, it gets better. It gets better. And now I'm using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 430. Now this one is a little bit red for me. I definitely should have went with 420. Um, but this one oxidizes pretty well, um, I think. So I know it's like not matching perfectly at this time but it it I, I mean I definitely brought the wrong shade but I don't mind the way that it oxidizes it actually looks it looks great you'll see I am setting my under eye with Sasha Buttercup setting powder in the shade banana I have to say at this point I was feeling a little bit encouraged like the look was really coming together and do you see what I mean about the foundation oxidizing like how it doesn't look so bad after it sort of like sets like it looks it looks okay I'm just going in setting all of my T area and um, just my little sensitive creases all around my face And this eye is still a little obnoxious, but I'm kind of feeling it. So 
So one thing about me, I'm definitely gonna set um, everything. I'm gonna spray multiple times. Maybe it just shouldn't be that much, but it just feels right, so that's what I do. So I spray and then I take a big fat powder brush and I pat all of that in. That looks so good to me, so clean. I went back under my eye with Be Heard um, and I felt like that was gonna be like a good color to sort of like bring it on in. And fanning because I can't see because apparently I put too much on my under eyes. <laughs> So now I'm using my Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Palette, and I'm using, for blush, it is La Viva Mocha, and for the bronzer, it's Your Grounded. Then I went in with Anti Depresso, which is sort of like the highlight. It's such this, it's this gold and, oh, it's this beautiful color. You have to get the palette if you haven't already. It's so well pigmented, in my opinion. And we're setting again, and we're patting again because we gotta pack it all in. And really and truly, I'm feeling it. This is so cute. Where am I going? Where am I going? Y'all like to talk a lot of smack about girls who um, put their lashes on with their fingers, but like, I don't know how else to put them on. So, <laughs> um, sometimes the tools work for me, most of the time they don't. So this is just the way that they get put on and I love it does not bother me but look at these lashes oh my god so for this look I was trying like all these different glosses but then I ended up just going with my normal which is the brown pencil and dark brown and I also go in with a uh, pixie by Morphe it's lip gloss it is my favorite combination ever and then I threw on a little Fenty it's giving nude to make it pop and this is the final look and I love it Thank you guys so much for watching. It got very scary, but look what Jesus did. Okay, we got through it, and I'm happy. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye. Be sure to follow me on all social media platforms at P-H-Y underscore L-I-S-H-A.